Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today we are in St. Louis. So we are here at uh, sure. Treasure Isle Antique it. Mall. Yeah, so we're gonna head on in here. Let's go find some treasure. That is. All right, we just walked in. That's kind of cool. Chips, pretzels, and nuts. Yeah. Now this is St. Louis, so things are not going to be, um, you know, super cheap, Barb. I don't think. Okay. I'm just kind of curious. So yeah, that's 10 bucks. That's not bad though. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. All right, we're gonna look for some cool things. We've got some rustic, primitive looking items, some shutters. I love these sorts of things. This is $175 for the, for the pair. If you wanted to get into vending machines, you can make a business out of it. Okay, they have some shabby dabby do stuff in here. Some what? I just made that up. Oh, I didn't hear you. Shabby, funny. shabby chic stuff. <laughs> There's some art. Look at all the pretty glass in the window. Very nice. shiny. There's a 50% off sale back here. I'm tempted to go straight to it. Oh, the birds, those are kind of nice. So this one would be like $400 today. It's a longa burger. Barb, there's art in here if you want any. Art. 50% off. Hmm. Oh, look at the color on that. It's really pretty. That is, yeah. The watercolor. 1968. They say psychedelic on it. Hmm. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. It's kind of nice. What are all these? There's, there's lots of them uh, piled. Some of these are not in our price range, though. Oh, well, most of them are not. Yeah. But they are if they're, they're half off. Really? Well, yeah. I'm being optimistic. Okay. See, don't you want her for $440? No. No? Okay. Some people would. Some people would want that woman in their house. Well, hopefully they come find her. She's here. She's <laughs> waiting. Or that guy. Yeah. If you want him, he's actually a lot more affordable. Oh, really? Yeah, you can get him today for, what's ha uh like 200 bucks. Hmm. Yeah, Barb. This is what you didn't don't have in your house that you need. <laughs> him. There's some silver overlay. Beautiful. Here's a bronze. It's a bargain at $27,000, it says. What? Yeah. It's a bargain. Actually, it would only be half of that today. Do you want this for half of $27,000? No. Don't you think that'd be a good investment? I don't know about that. <laughs> that was kind of pretty. Yeah, with the ships. Ooh, now there are some, that's silk. Oh, huh. Let's look at these. These might be, ooh, they, if they'd be, I'd fall over if there was a flamingo in here. Yeah. I'd fall over. Oh, look at that. Aw, that's funny. Walt Disney. So that was that stack. Let's look at this stack. Ooh. Well, that's kind of pretty. They're all doing a dance. For it be it would be like a hundred dollars today. It's from two thousand. Wait, no, it's not. It's nineteen sixty nine. Yeah. Uh, 
And that one is from 1942. It's kind of large. It is. For it would be a hundred dollars. That's not bad. Really, it's not. Here's a Murano bird for it would be twenty-five dollars today. Again, twenty-five is not bad for Murano, and that's kind of an interesting looking bird. That's kind of cool too. Really big painting, that's a really big stack. <laughs> that's a big stack. <laughs> oh, kind of jogs off over this direction. Mm -hmm. I think we're in a different booth now. Seems like it. More different. Like More different. There's a lot to see. Lots of little things. This is kind of cute. $10. Wow, look at this bunt pan. Oh, wow. It's very <laughs> deco looking. Or, well, it's a cathedral, but wow. Huh. Oh, wow, there's shells on it. That's cool. That's cool. For $12. Really? That's not a bad price. I could have it. Um, I honestly think I could sell this one here for like 40 bucks. And I'm not joking. Serious. You thought I was joking, but I'm not. Very serious. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get it because I really like it. I love the shells and yeah. Oh, Barb found her restaurant where? Shenango dog wood plates, six dollars. The whole stack. Like I really needed a Mr. Whole Flop stack. Ears. Do you want that book? It's what? Mr. Flop Ears. Oh. Oh, Mr. Flop Ears. So they're nice. The whole stack. I guess. For how much? Six. Boy, that these are some pretty good prices. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Not so bad. Tomorrow is now. Well, that's a very good book. And I have no idea about it, but it sounds like a good one. It is today that we must create the world of the future. Eleanor Roosevelt. Okay, another 50% off booth. So let's take a look. See if we can find anything here. Like, what is that, a cat? Is that carnival glass cat? Oh, wow. Isn't that cool? Okay, so today it's, so it's Fenton, by the way, and it would be 17, like $17. Still too much for me. So I will not, I will not, not for 17 What's this little blue bird? That would be $10 today. Yeah, okay, so I think these these prices are a little out of our range for resale. Unless I find something for myself. Is that like Wedgwood or something, this ivy? I don't immediately recognize it. Oh, there goes a fork. Oh, it's a snack tray set. This is just royal china with an underglaze. Huh. Let me get that other thing that fell. There we go. Some stuff on the floor. Let's see. If you don't see, there's some Fenton in the silver crest. This is in the peach. So that'd be $22 today. Yeah, unfortunately these prices are a little high for resale. So, we will keep going. Now this one's 20% off. Very mid-century-esque in here with those chairs. Those are $85 each. Those are some interesting chairs as well. Wow. The credenza or a dresser. Barb, that's really cool. Yeah, and I even have a green baby bin. So it's the original box. So for clock collectors, I bet that would be really cool. Yeah. I mean, you collect clocks, so for $3. Yeah. 
Gosh, I feel like that that would go for a lot more online, like maybe around $20. I don't just know. Just for the box. I mean, 15, 20. Mm hmm. But you're going to keep that one. I so think that's, so, yeah. That's pretty neat. If you put it with your clocks. Yes. So I don't know if this is going to be a nautical day or what, but isn't that adorable? It's a tape dispenser. I'm not sure what the little dash is in the back for. Maybe stamps or something? I don't know. But it has the fish on there. And look, made in Japan. Very cool. So it's six fifty, and there's a sale, isn't there? Yeah, twenty percent off. That's I'm gonna do it. So I'll get the fish. I think that's pretty cool. These little shakers are nice. They're eight dollars. They're from the 50s, I believe. Let me look. Yes, they are from the 50s. The fighting chickens. Wow, look at that couch. This is an interesting booth, and they got the cracked ice for Micah with the chairs. $90. The chairs have seen better days. But for $90, see it has it slashing it. Slashing it. You have to get those fixed up. Here's those Mouster Shires. <laughs> They're cute. They have a whole black and white section. Wow. That's pretty striking. You want a couch? No. Okay. Froggy. Full. Mm -hmm. Oh, this frame is good. Yeah. Twenty nine dollars today. Isn't that a cool Art Deco frame? I think so. Yep. Twenty nine dollars. A fun owl. It is. Yes. That's a pretty picture too over there. With the pink tree. There's one with a bridge back there. That's a big um, thing. Antelope? Is that a Hager thing? It looks like Royal Hager. Cool. Maybe. I'll try to read this tag. Yeah. Hager Gazelle. 49 is not bad for mm -mm. a big one. I like that cool lamp. Yeah. It's very, kind of similar to that. Very mid century. It kind of reminds me of like a Frank Lloyd Wright kind of a thing. Yeah. So this is 50% off in here. Lots of art. They've got lots of art here at this mall. Mm hmm. Hmm. Not sure what I'm looking at over here. It's very, very, a mixture of all eras. You've got 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Interesting. There's Empoli. There's a bird like one that you just had on the top shelf. Oh, the Murano? They want $60. Look at this fancy thing. That's a fancy thing. That's Murano. It's Murano and it's marked. And it has a nice sound if you want to play it as an instrument. Mm -hmm. I just spotted this really pretty paint by number. I love the fountain aspect of it and the flowers. It's $58. So I have to think about it, but I really like it. I don't like the frame. That's my only caveat. Oh, you don't like the frame? I mean, it, like you might just ignore the frame because it, it sort of blends in with the colors, but I do like it. It is pretty. There's a little waterfall and a fountain. $58. I would be ecstatic if it was like 40 or less, but... Maybe like we could get... Do you think they do where they'll give an automatic 10% off, you know? Oh yeah, so that wouldn't be very much money, but maybe. Yeah. They do have a lot of art around here in this mall. And then there were... There were... Look at that. Four paneled birds. And then you've got a couple There's paint by light. numbers there. The light. the light. Yeah. 
it's like it's this rattan or no it's not rattan it's like this what do they call that wood isn't it is it rattan i don't know wicker kind of a thing that's what i was thinking so I just had to show this because it caught my eye. I'm not gonna buy it. It's only $5 though. So this is made by Hall, H-A-L-L, -L, and it's in this deco, kind of art deco style from about the early 30s. And it is marked Hall on the bottom here, made exclusively for Foreman Bros. And it has this iridescent kind of bubbly sheen. I don't know if you could, that's gonna pick up. There you go. So this would have came with a stand and it does not have the stand today and it is five dollars but it is also hard to find so now i'm almost talking myself back into it <laughs> um so one with the stand would sell for about sixty dollars without the stand i'm not sure um, i would think it could get at least 20 maybe 25 based on its kind of art deco appearance and it does still look attractive without without a um stand it is heavy though so that's one consideration it's larger so the box would be something uh i just this is striking me this, this deco design and i don't see this very often it's not a very common piece mm -hmm. so i'm gonna buy it <laughs> i just talked myself into it just I like that i want one of those but i don't want a casserole i want i like that design but yeah so that's that's cool all right, with that, we are going to wrap up this video. Barb and I got some pretty fun things, but we will see you later. That's not what I normally <laughs> say. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.